In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make your games appear on the retail Xbox 360 dashboard. For this video, I'll be using the XB Guard dashboard, which is basically the retail dashboard with a different skin. To get your games to show up on the stock dashboard, you'll need to convert them into God format, short for Games On Demand. These are the digital versions of Xbox games, just like the ones you'd buy from the Xbox store. Most of the time, when you download games online, they come in ISO format. All we need to do is convert that ISO file into God format. And don't worry, it's a pretty simple process. All right, we'll start by downloading the necessary program. Open Google and search for ISO to God. It should appear as one of the top results. And here we have it, our second result. Now let's download the archive and extract the files to your desktop. Next, you'll need a game in ISO format. In this example, I have an archive containing Batman Arkham City game. Let's extract the ISO file to your desktop. By the way, for those who doesn't know, ISO is a type of archive that contains a digital copy of a game disk. When you double-click the ISO file, it will open to show the game's contents. You can extract these files and transfer them to your hard drive. Aurora can load them without any issues. However, if you want the game to appear on the retail dashboard, it must be in God format. The retail dashboard does not recognize extracted ISO files. It looks like I forgot to extract the XEX tool from the archive. Let's quickly take care of that so we can begin the file conversion process. All right, now we're ready to proceed. Let's add our Batman ISO image. As you can see, the tool automatically detects the game cover, name, title ID, and media ID. Next, select your output directory. Make sure to uncheck the option to save a rebuilt ISO image. We don't need an extra copy. Then, choose a temporary location for the rebuilt ISO. Once everything is set, click Convert and wait a minute for the process to complete. Now we have a folder containing the Games On Demand version of the game, just like the digital copy you'd get directly from the Xbox Store. As you can see, the file structure is completely different from the original ISO. The final step is to transfer this folder to your hard drive. You can use any method you prefer, FTP over Wi-Fi, copying it to a USB stick, or any other way that works for you. Personally, I like using Fat Explorer to connect my hard drive directly to the PC and transfer the files that way. It's fast and reliable. But first, let's free up some space by deleting a few games from the hard drive to make room for the new ones. Next, open the content folder, then navigate to the folder named 16 zeros. This is where you'll copy the new game folder. I also have some arcade games already in God format on my hard drive, so I'll go ahead and copy a few of those as well. Once all the files are copied, disconnect the hard drive and insert it back into the Xbox console and start the console. As you know, the consoles we build comes with the Aurora dashboard pre-installed by default. When you purchase a console from our website, you also have the option to request stealth server installation. We'll set up XB Guard for you free of charge. Visit our website if you're interested in owning a custom Xbox 360 RGH console, built, configured, and ready to go. Now, let's make our newly added game appear in the Aurora dashboard. To do this, we need to add a path to the game folder. Go to the Content tab in Aurora and add a path to the 16 zeros folder. Set the scan depth to 5, then
Then click Scan Now. Aurora will search the directory and add any compatible games to your library. Now, give it a couple of minutes to process the new files and download the game covers. I'll go ahead and speed up the video to make the process quicker for you. All right, our library is now updated. All covers have been downloaded and the games have appeared. Next, let's switch to the XBGuard dashboard. To do this, open the file manager, navigate to the flash folder and launch dash.xex. Let's sign in to our Xbox Live profile and check out the My Games tab. Unlike Aurora, the stock dashboard doesn't require you to set up any paths. As long as the games are properly copied to the correct directory, they will appear automatically. As you can see, our Batman Arkham City game and some random arcade titles are now showing on the dashboard. Let's click X on Batman, and as you can see, the menus look just like if you bought it directly from the Xbox Store. If you want to play the game with its DLCs, let me know in the comments, and I'll make a video on how to install DLCs for games. Now, let's start the game. And as you can see, it works perfectly. So that's how you copy and install games on the stock dashboard. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Also, let me know what you'd like to see next. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and visit our website if you're interested in purchasing an RGH console. We offer free shipping across Canada and the U.S., worldwide shipping available for an extra fee.